So fun fact, my mom didn't realize Cool Cat was a real thing. She thought I made it up. There were some movies, terrible movies, movies so awful, no one would touch. Then came a Matthew, sad little Matthew, Matthew decided these movies to watch. For every good movie, there's at least ten bad. Today's episode, Cool Cat Kids Superhero. <sighs> Hello Internet, I'm called Matt, and today is a little different because I'm not really reviewing a new movie. This is ostensibly the George Lucas special edition of Cool Cat Saves the Kids. Um, I didn't even know if I was going to review it, but I feel like there's just enough to say to warrant a video. Cool Cat Kids Superhero, so-called because Daddy Derek heard people only watch superhero movies now and decided Cool Cat should be a superhero for kids, is the latest way Derek has found to reuse the same footage again. See Savage once Cool Cat on Netflix, but after they rejected it, he decided it was because the film was too old and didn't have enough celebrities. Not because it's a cheaply made, unfocused mess. His solution was to take the same four-year-old footage, add the slightest bit of new content, and recast Mama Cat with Cynthia Rothrock. And look, I love Cynthia Rothrock, but she is not a name star. The only people who care about Cynthia Rothrock are people who watch Alice and Pregler's videos. And I hate to say it, but I prefer the old Mama Cat. April Ann Reese, the original Mama Cat, kind of matched Jason Johnson and Daddy Derek's ridiculous enthusiasm. Rothrock is clearly doing this for a paycheck. My, oh my, oh my! I can have my hair done at the beauty parlor with a hundred dollars! My, oh my, oh my! I can have my hair done at the beauty parlor with a hundred dollars! Also, despite the fact that Rothrock only does voiceover, her picture is on the cover of the DVD. Most of the things on the back are pretty innocuous, but... Pro friends? Is anyone... anti friends? Also, Savage decided to send the soundtrack to the Kickstarter backers, and it makes it really obvious the DVD image has been stretched. But the sticker's not falling off the disc, so that's nice. The film starts with Derek Savage blowing up the earth. The first scene is a new segment of Cool Cat painting, despite obviously not painting. But Daddy Derek tells him it's time to record... Cool Cat Rap Master. Now I'm gonna practice my new rap song, Cool Cat Rap Master! Wow, that sounds cool! Hey, Daddy Derek. The 90s called. They want their embarrassing rap song back. Doesn't even make sense. First, it's obviously Derek rapping, not Cool Cat. Hip, 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 the hop, hop, hop. I got a story to tell you about the coolest cat. Not that his singing voice has ever matched, but at least get a singer who isn't playing a different character. Also, it's not rap. It's a smooth R&B song. Cool Cat already had a rap song, called a boogie for some reason. Then there's some forced thing about recycling. It lasts more than a minute. Pro recycling, you guys! You know what the true essence of Cool Cat is? Daddy Derek showing off. Here's them riding his motorcycle. Afterwards, we go back to the opening scenes of the original, and while it's mostly the same, they dubbed over a few lines. I'll get it. Thanks! My hands are full! <laughs> I'll get it. Thanks! And that's very nice of you! <laughs> it's like Savage actually listened to some of the criticisms. This does fix a handful of the bad messages in the original. Hey, Cool Cat, I just got a text, but I don't know who it is. Well, there's only one way to find out. So, see what it says. Hey, Cool Cat, I just got a text, but I don't know who it is. Well... It's not good to open a text from a stranger, but I'm here, so see what it says. It could be good news. But if you're going to change it, why not cut out scenes to help the pacing? The whole Hollywood Parade segment is still here. Although, we'll get to that. 
Unfortunately, he cut out some of the funniest stuff from the original. Like in this shot, right before Cool Cat does his jerk-off motion in the original, it cuts. He doesn't do the jerk-off thing in the whole movie. But that's not the greatest loss. They cut out the best character. The guy who walks out of his house and immediately back in is missing. Zero stars, not worth the purchase. I should mention here also that while his shirt has had pretty poor continuity before, now it's even worse. It goes from blue to purple to a different shirt entirely, all in what's supposed to be the same day. The film from here basically plays out the same, up to the cool cat likes to boogie woogie segment. In the original, he goes straight from one song to another, but in this version... That is the first time Cool Cat has shown even the slightest bit of self-awareness, and it's hilarious. Just don't do it again. Anyway, eventually we get a new scene where Cool Cat finds a lollipop and comes this fucking close to ripping off the song Lollipop. Lollipop, lollipop, oh how I love a lollipop, 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 tastes so yummy. But wait, I don't want candy. So bye bye, Lollipop! Then why did you pick it up? Why is there even an unwrapped Lollipop sitting out in the first place? He picks up a camera and starts doing vlogs way too close to his face. And you guys want to know how cool Daddy Derek is? Oh my god, Daddy Derek is Napoleon Dynamite. He thinks this looks cool, you guys. That's fucking amazing. Oh, it's the fucking Hollywood Parade segment. This shit's so boring, there's nothing even- what is this? That parade's dumb, Cool Cat's the ugliest person in it. That's right. He might be on TV talking to that movie star, Erica Strata. la di da da But I'll think of another way to get you just wait! You know what? You made me like this segment a little bit more. And by a little bit more, I mean I was fucking dying watching this. That's right. Happy <laughs> Hanu Day. <laughs> See, I really would have liked it if it was fucking dying! This is the best thing! If you saw that, this like, is the best it, thing! Just... Hey, you bully! Cool Cat's going to be a Hollywood parade and you're not! And we're going to a movie star's house to have fun and you're not! Ha ha, go bully that! Oh my god, Maria just bullied Butch the Bully. I'm not joking. Judging the way he looks, saying he has no friends, everything like that. That was bad. But this is actual bullying. Just wait till he has his revenge. Oh, what, that was cancelled? Oh. Uh... Just wait till Mumkey Jones has his revenge. Oh, and you can barely tell this scene and the next scene were filmed four years apart. Also, there's this awkward shot. And that's about it for new content. The second half of the film contains no new footage. I don't know if the few new scenes are enough to encourage you to buy this version over the old one, though I'm given to understand Daddy Derek is going to be selling only this one and not the old film. The old film is there with minor edits that make the film less funny and are frankly putting a band-aid on the vast problems with this film. And while it does make these scenes a bit more acceptable for kids, they made up for it. Who funded this shit? Oh, right. Well, I didn't want Maria to bully Butch. There must be someone else associated with this film who got that put in. Bad? Let's 
Bust out some rhymes. One, two, three. Hey man, I'm in hell. You can't blame this on me. Wait, if you didn't do it, that would mean Daddy Derek is one of the most oblivious and least self-aware people to ever live. Oh. Oh, I see. <laughs>